It's Christmas time once again. A time for getting together with family, um, eating food, having some nice drinks, maybe, uh, maybe giving some presents to that special someone, and all around just a time to be happy and a time to look forward to at the end of the year. And I figure what better way it is to celebrate Christmas and to spread some holiday cheer than to, you know, play a winter-themed game. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. This game I have some uh, personal history with. But I'll get into that for a, in a bit. So, with that said, let's all just sit back, relax, maybe get yourself a nice warm drink, preferably, and, and let's dive into M Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. Here, here's to a Merry Christmas, or Happy uh, Holidays, if you don't celebrate Christmas, really, I don't care, just everyone be happy, stop fighting in the streets, stop looting, stop rioting, just, just, just relax and have a good time. Cheers. The Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games series has been going strong since 2007. The first game, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, was released in time for the 2008 Beijing Olympic Games, and the game sold well enough to warrant a ton of sequels. The second game, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games, was the first in the series I had ever played. It came out in 2009 for the Wii and the Nintendo DS which I played the DS version first, but since I have no way to record the DS version, I will stick with the Wii version. So without further ado, let's pop this in and see how it holds up over 10 years later. Now presentation-wise, this game's intro is really epic for a Mario and Sonic crossover game. These games have always had epic intros. Graphically speaking, the game holds up alright for a Wii game. Textures are still great looking for Wii standards. And as far as presentation goes, this game ages pretty well. Now on to the most important part of any video game. No, not the character designs, Mario take dumbass. The actual most important thing in any video game is the gameplay. The gameplay is essentially you competing in various different Olympic events. Whether it be skiing, snowboarding, figure skating, or even curling. Each game requires the use of motion controls, but each game controls differently. And to be honest, the control is actually quite good. The controls are responsive. Some games like skiing or hockey allow for the use of the nunchuck. Do yourself a favor and use it. It'll be much better. Each game has a lot of effort put into them, and are really simple to control, unlike other sports games. Looking at you, EA! Nevertheless, this game is perfect for the family to play. The dream events are where the game really gets fun. These are basically Olympic events, but with a more Nintendo and Sega flair to them. I'm talking stuff like... Skiing on Seaside Hill. Ski jumping in Good Egg Galaxy. Snowboarding in Radical Highway. Or even figure skating, which this time has the feel of one of those musicals on ice, but with a Mario or Sonic paint job. My favorite dream event is Dream Snowball Fight for two reasons. One being for the remix of the Snow Mountain song from Mario 64, and also because it is so satisfying to play. The one game I'm not too fond of is Dream Gliding, because I don't fully understand how it works. Other than that, this game has a great amount of content. There's a shop you can go to in the game that allows you to purchase things with points you earn while playing the game. Stuff like clothing for your Miis, music tracks, decals to customize your gear, history and trivia in the library, or even stuff in the secret shop. Also, some other modes like party it's games fine. and some other stuff. Yes. In conclusion, Mario and... Oh, shit. 
<laughs> Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games is still a great experience after all these years. I still, well, I have a special place for this game in my heart, because I spent a lot of hours on this as a kid. And if I had to rate this, I would give it a 9.5 out of 10. This has been Nick and Nader 811 saying, f saying, have a Merry Christmas, or Happy Holidays if you're one of those PC unbased pieces of crap. Uh... You know, stay safe, have fun with your families, and I'll see you next time. Peace.